Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of me playing your games. So we're going to hopefully go through about two today, and again, let's get right into it. So we're going to be starting off with Rojo, a Spanish horror experience. Now this says it's about 20 minutes, so I might not be able to get through the whole thing, maybe just about halfway, because again, I don't want to spend too long on each game. But let's get into this one, so it's a nice little horror game. Quite excited. So here we are, this looks quite good. I only seem to have a mouse, although it did say it was for controller as well as keyboard and mouse. Uh, language keep it as English. Let's just press A. That does work, okay. So we're playing. Your friend has been missing for days. The only clue she's left you is a note in the room with an address. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Uh, Madrid. Okay. Ooh, this looks quite nice. Hold right click to look in detail. Ah, okay, so I'm going to zoom in. 3A. Actually, I didn't read that properly. I think it was 3A, wasn't it? We had to go to. This looks nice, though. I'm guessing that's going to stop me from going down here. Yep. Right, okay. Is that, was that a piano? Left click to ring the bell. Sounds like a shop. Try again. Oh, there we go. Oh. That's ominous. I guess we just go right in. Oh. Okay. So I don't know who opened the door. Get a flashlight. Where was that? Oh, on the floor there. Oh, perfect. Ah. Middle click. Okay. That's useful. Okay, so I like this flashlight system. Recognize it from one of my videos, but it's really nice. Can I read this? Uh. Since I started my crusade, I have progressed a lot. I've no longer I no longer feel sorry, I'm not afraid. At least I have understood that the only way to return Spain to its greatness is by understanding the rotten interior of the blasphemous the bless something who destroy it. If there's anything else to interact with, we can open the door. No, it's locked. Of course it is. Let's have a look around. Is that blood? Something thrown? Oh no. There's music playing down here. A radio. And a broken. Oh, my flashlight. Recharge battery. Oh no. Okay. I'm gonna have to do that throughout the whole game. Oh no. Okay, I turn this off. Nope, of course not. That was a key though. Oh, it's on the front door key, <laughs> hopefully. Oh, I can't run either. It's always worth a try. No, I'm still locked. Uh, well, this door opens. Not where I thought it was going to go. It's just the bathroom. Some more notes. Okay, so there's, there's another door back here, which is where I thought that would go to. Um, so I guess let's go see what this is. This is probably what the key was for. Left click. Can't be opened from this side. Oh, okay. What's the date? October 24th, 2019. Right. I don't know if that's got any significance. Maybe it's when it was developed. Can go through here. You can't open this door. Okay. Uh, what about here? I can. Can I turn the light on? Nope. Okay. Oh, is there going to be something behind that? <laughs> I never trust them. Oh, there's a cockroach. I mean, the mood is set very well in this game. I don't really want to look behind there, because there's probably going to be something there, isn't there? Oh, no, it's fine. Alright. Some crutches. More. Oh, I keep forgetting to recharge. There's more sounds coming through this door, so I'm going to try that one last. But I need to go through there. Okay. Alright. That's the TV. What's that? What's that moving? It's like a bookshelf or something got pushed. That oxygen. I can't read that. Enough, so I don't know. Don't know if that 
that's important to the story. That was another key. Some smokes. Alright. I have to click to read clue. Jesus keeps the key of hope. The heart of Jesus belongs to God, and only if we are able to see it, we will be able to reach the truth. Okay, well, there's pictures of Jesus, so do I have to check the pictures? Yep, left click move picture. Not that one. There's another one in here. Not that one. Okay. I haven't actually seen other ones. Oh, oh they're everywhere. Uh. Nope. It's going to be the last one I check, isn't it? <laughs> Wouldn't be one in the bathroom, would there? No. Well, where are the other pictures then? Oh, I did get a key actually, didn't I? So I could probably open one of these doors now. Yep, this one. Picture there. Is that a cat? Left click. Nope. It's nothing. So another picture there. Oh, it's a clock. I thought it was a key unlocking door. There we go. It's another key. Okay, that was cool. Is that just raw meat? I think it is. Laid out for two. Lots of pills everywhere. Um, I can open this. Oh, it's back here. Okay, that's good, I guess. Let's create a loop, which might mean I'm going to be chased. <laughs> I need to loop around. Let's hope not. I imagine this door goes to this key, sorry, goes to the other door. Left click, call the police. Good idea. Ah, doesn't work, of course. Why would it? I just remembered I did actually hear something get pushed, didn't I? So something behind here. Not that I can see. Can I crouch? No. Yeah, I can't see anything. Oh, that's just a picture, maybe. It's a heavy picture if it was. Although it did sound like it's coming from here. Piano. Left click. Why would I play the piano? That just sounds like a bad idea. Read clue. Ignorant minds like an empty bookshelf. Okay, so the bookshelf did move. That's what separates the sheep from my vision. My crusade for the redemption of Spain. So I need to move the bookshelf. Maybe that's what piano does. I'd rather not play the piano though, I'll be honest. Although, I probably have to. But I don't think. It's just horrifying. <laughs> uh, is, this, is this just for fun or is it actually doing something? <laughs> well, I guess I got to the bookshelf then, but I couldn't find anything to do there. Unless I can push it. Um, I didn't see an option to. Turn on TV. Ah, seems fine. Can I push this? Oh, I can now, okay. There was something behind the bookshelf. Blood is what was behind the bookshelf. Great. Okay. Oh. oh I'm just gonna go away. That. Well, can I just not go in there then? What? <laughs> okay, right. Um. Do I have to go? Well, he's just standing here. Okay, so I guess the logical thing, I suppose, would be to follow where it went, to not not leave. Right. Okay. What is this place? I just realised. Where am I? <laughs> I just feel like it's gonna be hiding in one of these corners. What's that noise? I can't 
not see it. Whatever it is. Let's move. Um, right. I feel like opening that door is just bad news. Read clue. Just four notes of the glorious melody of the fatherland are enough to unlock the truth. Well, this is the fourth one I've read. So... What was underlined in this one? Notes. Yeah. When I've read them... I don't know. I don't know if that does anything. Open door. Alright. Door's locked. That's probably for the best, really. So... What? Four notes. I mean, I've read four notes, haven't I? I just need to... Were the notes different to clues? This is disgusting. Um, alright. Let me see if I can find something new that I haven't seen before. Yeah, that thing's probably going to chase me though, isn't it? Because it's a loop created here. Uh, right. Yeah, I can't interact with the note. Let's play the piano again. May as well, while I'm here. Play the Spanish anthem. Oh my flashlight's run out. The door's unlocked. Why would that unlock the door? Why did I want to unlock the door as well? Isn't that where the creature thing is? Right. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to go back then, even though I don't really want to. Uh, <laughs> right. I really feel like it's going to jump out at me any second. It's unlocked, but not open. Let me just... I can't recharge my flashlight. I think open. Yep, there it is. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I kind of expected that. <laughs> so, what, uh... Are you still chasing me? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Okay. Where do I... What do I do? Um... Oh my key. Okay, he's fast, I'm stuck. So, loop it around here. Do I have to go to where he was, maybe? I don't know. Oh, I'm lost. Oh, wait. Oh, no, through here. The door. Oh, the door's locked. Oh, uh, um, um, oh, it's a dead end. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> okay, well, that didn't go to plan. Um, why was the door locked? Okay, so I have to loop around somewhere else then. Okay, there's a checkpoint. Good. So left click to play the Spanish anthem. I'm just gonna start walking back. So if this door closes, how do I? That's gonna loop around this area maybe actually. Because I imagine I need to go back to where he's come out from. I can't think of anywhere else to go unless it unlocks the door. But I don't think it would. I'm just going to run as soon as I open this. Yep. Yep. Well, actually, I do need to wait for him. Do I? Yeah, door closes. Is it fully locked? Yep. Okay. So you go that way. <laughs> kind of a stalemate here. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to run past. I really hope this is right, because if it's not, it's just going to be a dead end again. Oh, um, this is, oh, this is a dead end. Can I crouch and, oh, no. Okay. What do I do? Oh, did I do it? This is different this time. Nope. Okay. How do I, unless the door doesn't lock, I can't imagine it would. So it says the door's unlocked, what about the front door? locked. Oh, the front door is open. How have they missed that the first time round? Okay, so I've escaped. Right? Or is he going to come through the door? Oh, he's there. How did you get... How did you get there? Oh, no, that's it. Okay. That was great, actually. I really enjoyed that. That was really good. That was well made. I definitely saw a lot of elements of my different videos in there, which is great to see. It was really interesting. It was really fun.
That was really nice. I enjoyed that. It was very well made. So nice work. That was really good fun. So the next game we're going to go on to is Tales from the Cache, which again, this looks really uh, quite polished and quite long, so I probably won't get through the whole thing, but we're going to go right into this one. Okay, so here we are in Tales of the Game. Or Tales from the Cache, sorry. Uh, so let's press a new game. This looks really pretty, actually. This looks quite nice. Green Lakes. Cache is found. Okay, this looks quite nice. A little bit. We change the graphics. Uh, there we go. Okay, this looks really polished, actually. This looks great. Yeah, I think that should be slightly better. Right, okay. Crystal Raiders. So I think this is just really... You walk around the world and you find things. I mean, it looks really nice. Press tab to open world map. You can zoom in and out using mouse scroll. Uh, okay. That's nice. Oh yeah, so they're just over here. You can set a waypoint. So I guess let's go to this one first. Just tab. Oh, I've got a kind of phone thing, so I can put a mini map like this. That's really good. I really like this. So I will go over here first. It's this way. This looks really nice. Sounds great as well. So we've open this map again. So it should just be down here somewhere. That's a really cool feature as well, being able to open the map like that. So yeah, it should just be... I think it was on this corner, wasn't it? I don't actually know what it's going to look like when I get there. Um, let me open up the big map again. Around... Uh, a Balsis one? Hint, a stump man. Okay. So there's a hint. Description, scenic slopes of Balsis Lakeshore. So I think it's in here? I don't know if that's an exact location or rough location. A stump, man. So, tree stump? Again, I don't know what it is I'm actually <laughs> looking for specifically. Okay, it's still further down here by the looks of it. Is it this? Press E to interact. Might be this. Cito one. So that's not the cache, that's something else. So I just pick up the litter maybe? Because I saw some earlier as well. Um Yeah, I think it is. Okay, that's cool. That's nice. Oh, is it? Okay. So if I press M. It's actually around here somewhere. Like it's anywhere. I'm pretty sure I'm standing directly on top of it. So I guess I'll just keep looking. Ooh, something here. There's a tree stump as well. What would I interact with there? I don't know. Oh, I can pick up and track stuff like this as well. That's cool. Alright. So, hint a stump man. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of crouch as well. Oh, is that it there? Ah, okay. That might be it. Yeah, this is it. Ah, awesome. Got a pencil. Find a logbook. Yeah, okay. Wait for that. Achievement. Let's open it. Let's add. I found it. I'll rotate it right. There we go. Awesome. Let's close it. And let's put that back. Let's put it back in there. Awesome. Okay. So I found one. That's really cool. So this is what I thought it would be. Yeah. Here in England, we call it geocaching. I think. I've done it quite a few times before. It's actually quite fun. Yeah, that was quite good. So I guess we'll go to find another one then. Well, I'll probably find one more. Uh, difficulty hard. It's our medium. That's medium. So we'll go find this one. Alright, that's really good fun. Uh, wrong one. M to open this map. And you can pick up litter as well. And again, the game looks really nice. I've got the graphics on quite low just because I'm recording. But I've seen it. I've been talking to the developers they've been building it and seen some screenshots uh, and it does look really good on full capability. It's a nice one. 
pick up this while I'm here as well. I think I need to go down the other path, but yeah, I do. Oh, I might as well cut through the forest. There we go. Alright. So, it's just down here somewhere, really. Actually, let me see what the clue is for this one is. Uh, hint is V. Alright. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Maybe it's a V shape, something or other. Like a V shape in the trees, V shape log, something. So let's just get to the general location. I guess look for something that looks like a V. So it's just off this trail thing, right? Oh no, still quite further on. Some nice waves coming in there. So I can imagine this is definitely a game you want to play if you just wanted to kind of relax. It's definitely a very peaceful, relaxing game. I should be closing in on it somewhere around here. So again, I need to look for. I imagine I need to look for a V. I don't think there'll be a typo. I think it is probably just V. Yeah. So this is just over here. Yeah, should be directly on it. I mean, that looks like a V. Wouldn't be that simple though, would it? No, of course not. <laughs> I mean, there are many things in nature that look like these. It's just about finding the right one. Uh, yeah, it's in the middle of these two paths. I mean, it's saying it's here, actually, and this is where the V is. Yeah, I'm like right on it, at this tree. Oh, it is here, it's right there. Oh, it was right then. Can I climb a tree? Oh, I can't. No, I can't. Okay. Oh, there we go. Quite fiddly to get it right. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Get the pen. Get the book. Let's write our name on it. There we go. Right, close that and put it back in there. Awesome. So I'll probably leave that one here. Uh, I mean, this looks really nice, and it's got a nice kind of mechanic to it. Just going out, exploring, finding different things, it's really good fun. Uh, but again, I'll probably leave that one here, because I don't want to play it for too long and have this video gone for too long. But, but thank you for this game, though, it does look absolutely amazing, it's really well done. I like the achievements as well that you can get, so it kind of incentivizes the player to keep going and finding new stuff. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you did enjoy it, of me playing your games once again. I managed to get through two, again, both of them are great, so thank you so much for sending them in. And thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.